Hello, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from Curto's, the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Uh, here, beautiful and bucolic Yonkers, New York to be exact. Welcome. Um, November 1st, happy November everybody. Um, I wanted to post this quick vid. I had a great idea the other night when I was in the backyard. I had a beautiful, beautiful, uh, several uh, pieces of uh, prime steak that I had picked up. I think I went to Whole Foods for these, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't typically go to Whole Foods for my beef, but uh, I was there, so I figured what the hay. Um, and, uh, you know, I was sitting back, uh, getting the alfresco revved up, getting heated up, and um, I probably had a bourbon in hand, some type of libation, so the creative juices were definitely flowing. And um, what I was doing was I was going to cook the steaks on the solid fuel insert. Um, if you've seen my videos, you know what this is. And if you don't, it's this little box here that makes things dance on the alfresco. If you're not using it, you're losing. Um, so I'm thinking about it, and um, I thought about a statistic that had been presented to me recently. Where I was told that 80% of the alfresco grills that are being sold nowadays have a solid fuel box in that sale as an accessory as well. Because remember folks, it doesn't come with the grill. You have to purchase it as an accessory. 80%, that's a very, very high attachment rate. Um, I think that I may have had something to do with that through these videos in spreading the gospel of the um, solid fuel box. But because uh, quite frankly, it's revolutionized, totally changed the way that I grill. But um, uh, I was thinking about that stat and here I was about to uh, put these ribeyes uh, and strip steaks on. And uh, as I did, and uh, the charcoal, the Fogo charcoal that I had in there, always lump, always organic, burns cleaner and hotter. Um, I had a, one or two wood chunks in there as well. Man, it's just a totally different experience than cooking over gas. I mean, it's just, um, it's actually mind numbing. And you didn't need to have a few bourbons to get to that point. Um, but what I noticed was aside from just the intoxicating smell coming from the box, um, it was the sound. The sound was amazing. The sizzle of the uh, of the the sanguine beef getting grilled and seared over that wood and over that charcoal. So what I did was I actually taped it with my phone. So what I present to you is what I call the symphony of sizzle or the symphony of sear. It's literally a symphonic exploration of the transformation of the steak on the solid fuel insert and then what it metamorphosizes through to go and turn into finally a beautiful charred cross hatch marks that are worthy of a restaurant yet medium rare on the inside. I mean, I did a pretty damn good job on this one. So kick back, relax, watch this. It's all good and realize if you're buying an alfresco, you're selling yourself short if you don't get the solid fuel box. It's a must have. Thank you. Any questions, jonathanacurtos.com. Best way to reach me, folks. Or if you're in the tri-state area, come in and visit. The water's warm. Thank you.